Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video is about Edge TX and I'm doing a series of videos for the Radio Master box around this. Now these videos are for people new to the hobby and I've found that most people like to see the videos being produced on the on the radio they've bought even though Edge TX will be the same on all the radios. So I'm going to do a batch of tutorial videos for the boxer. Now this one is going to be marked up as for the boxer users but obviously it's for anyone with Edge TX and it's going to show you how to back up your radio. Now this is really important because I've had quite a few viewers that have contacted me because they've had problems because they're new to this and back and changing the firmware updating it and then they lose their models. So th this is why this is the first video in the series for the Boxer is so that you can back up your radio and settings and if there's a problem you'll be able to revert back to that backup and bring all your models back. So this is, is really important. So this is why this is the first video in this series of videos that I'm going to do for the Radio Master Boxer. Now first thing we need to do is download the Edge um, TX Companion program. Now we do this, we're going to go and switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you where you get this file from. So if we go to here, I've already got the edgetx.org um, site open and we need to go to get edgetx. And if we scroll down, you can see looking for edgetx companion and here's the links. So you'll need to choose the one that's right for your computer. So in my case, it's going to be the Windows 64 bit. So we're going to click on that. Now I'm not going to go through all of the processes doing that. I'm sure you know how to install a program. So with downloading, you can see that it's downloading here. We're going to go to the, um, okay, it doesn't trust it. This is, I know this file's good. So we're going to click here. We're going to say keep. I'm going to say show more and then keep anyway. Now, if I go and have a look at it, let's open up the folder. There's the file. So all you need to do is double click that and install it. And then you'll be ready to go. Now, so once we've installed the program, we can launch it. And now there are a few things that we need to set up um, because the companion can be used for multiple different radios and they have different settings, obviously color screens or black and white screens. So we need to go and set that up. So this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to switch back to the computer and I am going to show you how to do this. Right, let's close this. I've obviously already installed my program. So I'm going to go down the bottom here and I'm going to launch Edge TX Companion, which is here. There we go. So this is what you're going to be presented with. So what we need to do is set up our radios. Now, if I go to settings and go to radio profiles, you can see I've got the Radio Master Zora Express LRS. I've got the 4-in-1, uh, the TX16X, the Boxer, which is already set up. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the Radio Master Boxer. And you can see another Boxer that I've set up. So what I'm going to do is we're going to produce another one. So we're going to say, so let me start again so we can go through the whole process. You go to settings. You're going to go to settings radio profiles, add a profile. So we click there. Now you can see all the options we've got. So let's start filling them in. We're obviously going to give the radio its name. Let's call it that for now. We now have to pick, uh, select the correct type. So obviously we'll, we'll be in the list here. There it is, Radio Master Boxer. Now in my case it's English, so I'm picking the language English. And now we can remove from the screen the heli. So if you're not using helicopters, you see the no heli one here. We can click to click that. And we also want the lures. So that's all we need to do there. Screen splash, I, I don't bother with this, so I've left that. Now, the next important thing is the other settings, the structural parts. Now, to back this up, you need to tell com uh, Companion where your files are going to be backed up to. So I set uh, folders up in and I've got quite a complicated system because I've got a lot of different radios. So I'm going to go through that and show you. So um, you can put them wherever you want to. So the first one is the SD structure path. Now this is for your SD card because you can update your SD card via the companion program. But I, I don't normally do that. I, I, I compile it manually and then install it. But let's set it up so we've got it. So we hit select folder for our structure path. And we're going to go to my radios 
and I'm going to go to my Radio Master Boxer and then you can see how I structure this. I've got a firmware releases folder, I've got the radio backups which you're going to need in a moment and we've got the SD card one. So we don't need to pick the SD card one but mine gets a bit more complicated because I go inside there and you'll see I've got different folders. And the reason I do all this complicated stuff is just in case I need this for my subscribers. You could just have one folder with the contents in. So I'm going to select the current in the radio and say select. And now you can see here we've got the structure path set there. So now let's do it for the, the backup folder. We're going to hit select and we're going to go to the radios again. The Radio Master Boxer and the backups one and just say select. So we are now good to go. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the other settings we have to put in. Uh, I, I, I don't check this. Right, the default module. Now in this case, it's going to be the Crossfire one. So we select Crossfire. If you had a multi-protocol module, you'd, you've got to select the right one. That's the default setting for when you set up a model. Right, stick defaults. Now in my case, that's going to be mode one. Yours, of course, could be mode two or whichever mode it is. So select your mode and the default channel order. Now I always use AETR because this is the default, if I remember correctly, in beta flight. So that's my default, uh, default settings for channel mapping. And that's it, we can say OK. Now we've done that, we've, we've set up the profile. Now we need to select the profile. So we're going to go to settings, profiles, and we just make sure we've got it. There it is, Boxer LRS, so we're in the right one. This would be important if you had multiple radios like I do when I have to update them for testing and that. I, I've got to make sure I pick the right one. Now, that's we're, we're, we're close to uh, completing what we need to do. So now we want to back up our radio and settings. And as I said earlier, this is really important because I've had a few people contact me and they've lost, they've lost everything on the radio. So first thing, buy a radio, do this. It's not that complicated. Um, it'd be nice actually if in the radio, uh, Radio Master put a, a note saying, go and back your radio up. Maybe they do, actually, I haven't checked. But anyway, okay, back to this. So if we go into back to the computer and we just click, just point at the icon and you can see what it says, read models and settings from the radio. That's exactly what we want to do. Then we can also um, you know, write a backup to the radio. But at the moment, we just want to download the models and the settings. So we're going to click there. OK, good. I'm glad I've showed you that. We're going to say, OK, cancel. First thing we have to do is plug our radio in. Okay, so I'm going to turn my boxer on. Welcome to HTX. Now, as you are probably new to this, you need to put the cable into the top USB slot there, USB C slot, and then we're going to plug into our computer. There we go. Now, on the front, I'm going to try and show you this. I don't want to, if you can see that. There we go. You can see the, all the different options. The one you need to choose is the storage SD, the, the middle one. That's important. OK, and then just say OK. There we go. You'll hit, hear the computer uh, pick it up. Right now, now we can uh, bring our uh, back our data from the radio. So we're going to point again at the read models and settings. We're going to click. There we go. As quick as that, it's done. And now you can see all the models um, on, on the screen and all the radio settings will be there. Now, we haven't finished yet because we now have to, if we just close this, it's gone. It's gone forever. So we've got to save it. So let's get those settings again. And we have to go to File, Save As. Um, it should go to the Boxer, ready. it's automatically gone to the correct directory and then I can just say, you can rename it. You can see there that I put dates on mine and I keep, normally keep several backups. Uh, and then you just say save. Now you see the asterisk has gone. So that now means we've got that, that we've got those settings there. So we could close that. Right, now we have a problem. We've, we've lost our, our models on our radio because we did a firmware update and something went wrong. All we need to do is go to file, recent files, open up that file and then write them. And you now can see this icon up here is highlighted. So if you say write models and settings to radio, uh, let's do it. There we go. Uh, you are about to overwrite all the models. Um, I'll leave that there. I'll normally click don't show this again. I'm going to say yes. There you go. Done. Job done. They're back onto the, ra onto the radio. 
So there we go. That's the video in the the first video in the series for the rate for the Radio Master Boxer. Same for all um, HTX radios. You would do, use the same process. Uh, but as I said earlier, I'm doing a, a complete range of videos for the, for the Boxer user. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. And if you need any assistance, please um, leave a message there and I will help you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.